Hello, this is Eric with Bain Group, and thank you for joining us in another video. For today's topic, I'm going to talk about how you can sync SharePoint libraries onto your desktop. And this is going to allow you to do two very important things. First, it's going to allow you to browse your SharePoint files through your file explorer. And secondly, it's going to allow us to enable offline access to all of our SharePoint files. So let's show you how you can do that. I'm going to navigate to my site contents and choose the library that you want to sync to your desktop. Um, you can begin with one and you can repeat the same process to add uh, any other ones that you want to add. I'm going to start with documents. And in order to sync to your desktop, all you have to do is click the sync button. And you're going to get this window asking if you want to open Microsoft Drive. And yes, I do. You're going to be prompted with a sign-in window. Here you can customize where your files are going to be saved on your hard drive or your computer. I'm going to click Next. I think the default location is fine. Here we're going to get some tips on how to use OneDrive. You're able to drag and drop, share files, and most importantly, we need to understand what these status symbols mean. So firstly, the cloud one means that the file is only accessible through internet access. So if you were to lose your internet connection, you will not be able to icon. Now we also have a check mark with a green check mark with a white background. And this means that the file has been open on your computer and it's downloaded into your computer, but it's not continually syncing. Um, the one that we are looking for is the white check mark with the green background. This icon indicates that our libraries will always be synced to the latest draft. Even if other users make changes to the files, OneDrive will automatically update our files so we can always have the latest draft. This also allows for offline access. So if we were to lose our internet connection, we'll still have access to the latest draft. Okay, let's click next. I'm going to open my OneDrive folder. And here we are. As you can see, I'm in my sales and marketing documents. Um, and also you can see we have the cloud icon here. And I'm going to browse in. And as you can see, we have all the same files as on our SharePoint library. But also our status symbols are all clouds. So that means I can only access these through an internet connection. So let's enable the offline sync. I'm going to go back. I'm going to right click on this folder. And here's the feature that we want to enable. Always keep on this device. Okay, I've clicked on that. Now you see that the status symbol switched to a syncing icon. And what SharePoint did, it started downloading all of my files from SharePoint onto my desktop. And if we click inside the folder, we'll see that all these status symbols are now green. This means that they've all downloaded onto my hard drive and I can access them through offline access. If any other user was to update files, OneDrive will automatically apply those changes to my files as well. And that's it. That's how you can sync a SharePoint library to your desktop. Thank you.